But it's interesting because Yiddish is kind of like the bridge language between the two, what's called the two solitudes, the English and the French. And the ability, it's almost like we are the market makers or the middlemen or the way that we can bring these, these two groups together as being sort of the objective outsiders. And the linguistic analogy is, yeah, everyone can appreciate, they both don't know what Yiddish is. <laughs> and they both find it funny from a distance. And there's a story that they both are learning from hearing the language. And, and there's also, I mean, there's more to be said about the, the role of Yiddish in Montreal, the whole experience of everybody that came here uh, from overseas and the contributions of the Jewish community here. And, uh, you know, in some cases, not that many people know about that. The reality is, I think Jamie was getting into this earlier, but when most people in this city, in this province, think about Jews, they think of Hasidim. They don't realize certain, you know, left-wing leaders, uh, very left-wing leaders, uh, came out of the Jewish community here. Um, they may or may not recognize Mordechai Richler or Leonard Cohen or characters like that as coming out of here and being part of that community. But or the very fabric of the plateau and St. Lawrence Boulevard and the culinary culture, the smoked meat culture, the bagel culture, which is part of Montreal fabric, is Jewish based. Um, and the clothing, the schmata business, um, you know, and for that matter, you know, including in the modern city of Montreal, the lawyers and the accountants and you know the Jewish General Hospital. I mean, there's a there's a true Jewish, uh, uh, serious Jewish element in the fabric of of the city and what what the city looks like today. It's it's there's no question. The fabric of the city is a schmata. It's a giant <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> grease chicken fat smeared <laughs> schmata. Here's an example of yeah. it. Oh God! <laughs> and uh, and we and we are we are products of it too, and so we are descendants of all that stuff. And um, it it kind of had to be here. Yeah, we could, like you said, we could we could do the characters elsewhere, but um, but Montreal has informed us in a way as much as being Jews in terms of, I think, our, our personas as adults. It's just, and I've been living in the States for 16 years, and I still call myself a Montrealer. There's a certain um, uh, joie de vivre, and also this mix of languages and cultures, which you don't really find anywhere else in North America the way you see it here.